pastor went and brought a necromancer. And there is one thing that travels with the necromancer. Because necromancy is the ability to consult the dead. To hear the voices of hell. That's what we have in our cultures as... Um, as a la, le, to hear the voices of the dead, to consult with the dead, the wisdom to consult with the dead, that's necromancy. One thing that travels with necromancy is what we call the shadow of death. A necromancer carries the shadow of death. So a necromancer can come here and help 12 people. Hmm? He can help 12 people and it's as if there are miracles for 12 people. But he will go with 3 people. The shadow of death will be casted on 3 people. So that when he leaves, those people will now die. So he goes around with the shadow of death. That is how he offers the sacrifices that powers what he does. Anywhere he goes, you, if you trace it very well, you find the dead. People is littered with dead. And so, after the service, and normally, if they can touch you on the head like this, they have dropped the shadow of death. After the service, one of our mothers ran to me that she had a dream that a, the minister that came to minister in their church laid hands on her and that place became black. And from there, some maggots were sucking her blood. So she ran to me and then only for us to see yesterday someone that was in that service that the man touched. The soul is already taken. Meanwhile, it's happening in church. And the average believer doesn't have the eyes to discern who is a prophet and who is a diviner and who is a necromancer. It's an occult invasion. It's the end time agenda of the kingdom of darkness. Yes, my scripture. He said, Or that useth divination, or an observer of times astrology, or an enchanter, or a witch. Who is an enchanter? An enchanter is another name for his, a, a sorcerer because he uses enchantments and he uses spells to change the natural realm, to bring supernatural influence on the natural plane. If you find there are several people, what they speak as tongues is not tongues but the holy spirit needs to educate you to know that that one is not tongue. there's no way you can know it by hearing physically it will sound like every other one but you see when that kind of tongue goes up and you have the gift of discernment of spirit you will feel as if that thing is piercing you that one is not tongues that is enchantment that person is giving instructions to demons are you with me times of great revivals are times of great invasion of the body of christ from the occult if we take an inventory of churches in Makodi, you might find out, you might find out to you all this may that many of what we call churches in this city are occult platform. Occult platform. Let me tell you a story before we begin to go deeper. Hallelujah. Now there's a woman, a woman in the 80s, she was arrested in one of the meetings as a witch that came to attack the minister in the 80s. So the power of God arrested her and the ministers gathered. And they began to pray and began to pray and began to pray and they disarmed her. You know, oh, you don't know. There's a type of deliverance you can do. It will change the face of the sky. Hmm? Cloud will cover the moon and hide it because of that thing that you're doing. And that's the kind of deliverance that I'm talking about. Those people are working with high-powered spirits. Oh, you don't know Lagos. There's one music minister that rules in Lagos. When, when she's singing, people get healed. She was most sought after. And then a prophet in the land, an unknown man. In fact, this prophet never went to the university. A raw prophet that was raised. I know his father in the law. That prophet now invited this praise and worship singer to church, to his church. They say, How much does she charge? They say, Those days she charged, she charges a hundred thousand. So they gathered the money, they, they contributed the church and brought her. It was a setup. Then she began to sing. Then the prophet now took a mic, his own mic. Hmm? He was moving like, like this. She was singing. And then she was now complaining that she was not flowing. So when the prophet began to minister, she was arrested. That kind of... Hmm. May the Lord help us. I believe we are going to see that one in IBB Square. From the signs I have seen, the kingdom of light will make heavy gains because a major, a major priestess of darkness will be arrested. Amen. That priest and worship singer was arrested and she began to confess where she got the power. Meanwhile, she has preached, ministered on most of the platforms you know. Unchecked. So the woman I spoke about in the 80s that was disarmed, there was no proof 
that she repented after the deliverance. In the 90s, they call her prophet now. Those people that were still there in the 80s, they know but everybody is celebrating her as a prophet. Meanwhile, even that time, the 80s, she was using divination. But now she has entered into the body of Christ and she is a most sought after prophetess. It's an occult invasion. This is an intelligent infiltration from the kingdom of darkness. And that's why every believer must be trained now to be a deliverance minister. That's why we are doing what we are doing. Hallelujah. The, you can no longer be on the sidelines. The agents of darkness are everywhere. Meanwhile, one of the major projects of the kingdom of darkness now, in order for Africa to be overtaken, is Nigeria. If you know the level of infiltration of, of satanic intercessors we have had in the last six months, it will blow your mind. The normal church we do will not, will not survive what is coming. That normal church where we come, you dress where you come and then we sing hymn. Eh? When you finish singing, then you now raise your hand like this. That my, my, my soul was touched. You, are, you, are, you have been set up because the battle has gone beyond that level. Hallelujah. Okay, you will notice a few things were mentioned in that scripture. Human sacrifice was mentioned. Before we can contend with the kingdom of darkness, we must be sure that we are not culprits in the same things that God is trying to eradicate. And just in case you, you, you as a young man here, you had a girlfriend, you made her pregnant, and then you gave her money for her abortion. Or you are the lady that was a victim. And you committed abortion in partnership with your boyfriend. We will need to restitute that position so that the open door to the kingdom of darkness can be erased in your life. Hmm? Secondly, divination. If you have consulted before, because today is a prayer service, we are trying to undo what the devil has done. As we begin to pray, um, are you here? As we begin to pray, um, those of us that are gifted among the ministers, our eyes will begin to open. All right? And then we will bring ministry to you and ensure that you are beyond the reproach of the kingdom of darkness. Okay? That's what we'll be doing this morning. Probably in the evening too because there was a lot of that that was within range during the course of the service yesterday. If you have consulted a diviner before or you were taken somewhere to secure help and the source of the help is from the devil, we are going to have to deal with those matters. Because you are going to be commissioned in this service, in this um, conference, to begin to minister deliverance. So the training for that ministry will begin this evening. What you need to know about the deliverance ministry. The deliverance ministry of, of Jesus. And how to you know, begin to minister deliverance. Because the Bible says that everyone that believes in Jesus should be able to cast out demons. Not pastor, but every believer. And so we need to commission every foot soldier to be able to expel demons that have bedeviled the lives of men. Hallelujah. All right. We see also that there's astrology there. Astrology. Astrology is, um, is a relative of divination, just like S.T. said. It's a relative of divination. Uh, but astrology sees, sees further into the future than divination can see. The range of sight is an artillery kind of arrangement. The range of sight is further into um, the future. Astrology also is one of the highest planes in which Causes and bondages can be brought. You know, um, lunatic. You have heard that word before? Okay. What it means is smitten by the moon. The moon can be programmed to smite you through astrology. Now, somebody give me Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. The moon 
can be pro those of, how many of you have been into agriculture in the village any or not you did you farm in the village all right now wait wait do you know there is a level of witchcraft that can be done so that my own farm will produce plenty of yams and then your own will not produce anything any witness is true uh -huh. and uh, the people that do that witchcraft they said it's either a snake or a donkey that comes to take the yams from other people's farm and deposit them somewhere else. Those kind of transactions, oh, you are just hearing that, you see. He is just hearing that for the first time, so he's surprised. Witchcraft has entered everything, has entered politics, it has entered sales, market sales. You don't know how widespread this thing is. Why do you? And then the believer complains that there are, there's opposition everywhere. In the market, it's not working. Yeah. See, you, 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 are, you are not doing the right thing. I went to look for a job, nothing. Admission is not coming out. Marriage is not working. Ah, we have to go higher. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Just a few scriptures to. Um, Okay, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto, unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the hidden, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. That is astrology. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Astrology is established this on the alignment of the sun, moon, and star. You see, hallelujah. The astrologer believes that the alignment of the sun, moon, and star actually reveals several possibilities that are capable in the kingdom of darkness. And there are several forms of alignments in these bodies above that suggest that the seasons of the reign of darkness has come. So some kinds of incantations will now begin based on the possibilities that the sky has revealed. But you see, one thing about the man of the spirit is that the Bible says that these signs, they follow them that believe. Meanwhile, these ones are looking to the signs. It means that astrology is ten steps behind a man that walks by the spirit. Ten steps behind. If you are going to be a tool that God will use to liberate people from satanic bondage, you must have matured in the spirit. You know how God speaks. You know, you know, you know. If you walk that way, you are going to be insulated. It's not as if the devil is not awake and alive. But uh, in the lives of several people, his presence is not felt. It is because they are operating on a civilization that is more advanced than what the kingdom of darkness has available. The life of Daniel actually proves that there are realms of reality that the occultic cannot access. That's the reason why Janice and Jabris could not effectively forestall Moses. They could do a few things, but there are dimensions that the kingdom of darkness cannot access. That's where the church must go now. That's where the church must go now. Hallelujah. When you find a man that uh, has a cyclical kind of disease, let me explain. A disease that is sensitive to season. Maybe you're about to graduate. The last time you schooled, you wanted to graduate, there were some challenges. Now you are schooling again. You want to graduate. Uh, those season-sensitive kind of uproars, hmm? Those are causes that came through astrology. Season sensitive. If the thing is at random, you should not be sensitive to season. But when you find season sensitive uproars, it is a curse that came from the astral, the astral realm. And there is astral warfare. Alright? There is astral warfare as prescribed in the scriptures. 
So because of that, we need to look at the three principles of astral warfare so that you are not a victim of causes. We'll look probably in the evening. And then, so we see an enchanter, an astrologer, a diviner, witchcraft. Amen. So these are the major areas of occult invasion. And uh, we are going to go deeper to try to find out how to deal with them. So the first is, how do we deal with witchcraft? Because witchcraft has four channels. It manifests through intimidation. It manifests through manipulation. Manipulating you to make wrong choices. Manipulating you to take wrong decisions. Manipulating you to choose wrong things. Manipulating you to go to wrong places. Hallelujah. If you find out how some people die, you, you now you discover that car, it was very difficult for them to have died like this. There were so many options while here. So it's, it's, um, it's a manipulation. And then we also have um, dominion. Witchcraft wants to dominate. Have you heard somebody in your village say that nobody can rise here without me? Dominion wants to suppress everybody under dominion. And then witchcraft wants to control. He wants to intimidate. He wants to manipulate. He wants to dominate. And he wants to control. In the book of Nahum, you are going to see that there are different kinds of witchcraft, which is an advanced aspect of our lecture. We are not going to look at that in this contact. Probably in subsequent contacts, we'll see the types of witchcraft. There are types. But of all the types, the expression is what? Intimidation is what? Manipulation, control, and domination. That's what they want to achieve through all the means. All right? If you go to Igede, because the average... Huh? Are you an Igede man? All right. The, the, the Igede elders will never accept that the Akpan celebration is diabolical. I, I heard the interviews of many of the elders. They said, no, no, this is not, this is not, no, no. Don't, this is culture. This is not, it's not diabolical. Hallelujah. But you see, some of us know better. When all the celebrations are done, then people will begin to die. Those are more um, prestigious ways of establishing witchcraft. So they finish the thing and then they have given instructions through the spirits through enchantment and then subsequently you begin to notice all kinds of deaths will begin to take place so you cannot logically connect the deaths to the ceremony but that's where the enchantment took place that's what enchantment does it gives is the ability to give instructions to demons so when you fulfill the requirement of the spirits then you can now release a prayer to the spirits and the idea is that Satan will tell you that in order for some people to find peace, some others must either die so that others can have peace. So the demons will help clean up the ones that need to die. And then they will now promise you an era of peace. Peace by death. Peace by destruction. Peace. Peace. Peace by blood. And that's the civilization we have maintained. And you see some of those lands, some of those lands, even development cannot successfully come into those territories because of the cyclical umbrella of darkness, the cloud that hangs over the people. Then you begin to find things like marriages will become difficult. You begin to see a very wide scope of poverty. And if anybody rises above the mark, it's either that the person becomes afflicted and spends all his earnings to treat himself and they come back again. Now, we will need to look at these things beyond personal levels and go into territorial levels. Because what you need to do to free somebody that is in bondage from satanic influences and what you need to do to free a community is different. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Now, let's, let's um, shed some light on witchcraft. Because we started it yesterday. Where are you? First Samuel chapter 15. 
First Samuel chapter 15, um, verse 23, that's where we ended yesterday. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. Hallelujah. So he had to reject the word of the Lord in order for him to be guilty of witchcraft. Is that true? He rejected the word of the Lord, the counsel that God gave him. When you go there, kill everybody, kill the animal, kill, kill everything, wipe them out. That civilization must end. The guy went there, he wiped the people out, then he kept the animals. And then the prophet Samuel came to educate him. He said that rebellion is equal to witchcraft. He said that stubbornness is equal to idolatry. For you to be able to do this, your opinion was your idol. And you felt your opinion was superior to the word of God. When you find a man that wants to rebel against God's word, whether you confront him with scripture, scripture doesn't seem to have authority in his life because he has already sustained an opinion which is an idol. It's idolatry. I also said yesterday that when you see rebellion, maybe your son is a rebel. If you look around him, you will find witchcraft. The reason why he might be a rebel was because there was somebody that is in the family that is trying to manipulate him. Rebellion and witchcraft are twins. And just like we saw yesterday, witchcraft is the universal religion for fallen man. Because the word, the key word to use to describe witchcraft is the word rebel. Rebel. Men rebelled against God. And so there is inherent witchcraft in the fallen nature. According to Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19 and 20. Now, where are you? Galatians 5, 19, 20. There's inherent witchcraft. There's a tendency to influence people, manipulate people apart from the Holy Spirit in the fallen nature. Because the description, the generalized description of a practitioner of witchcraft is the word rebel. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, yep, idolatry, witchcraft. That, is in, that means in the fallen human nature, are you with me? In the fallen human nature, there is a tendency, there's an inherent deposit of witchcraft, right? That means human beings operating in the flesh, they like to intimidate, they are prone to manipulate, they want to control, and they want to dominate because of this. Because I, for those of you that grew up with people that were not your parents, and then you hear things like, if you want us to pay your school fees, you must do this. That's called manipulation. So you know because you have money, you are using money to control the people. The fallen nature has that tendency. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. I always tell people that I have the opportunity to assist. You don't owe me anything. So don't try to be nice. No, forget. See, me, myself, I'm not good. The one that is good is Christ that is in me. He's the one that led me. So it is him in me that was good to you. If you want to respond, me, myself, I'm not good. So if you want to, if you want to be good, eh? if you want to respond to the gesture, Worship. Go to him. Give him glory. But you are not under any obligation just because I provided assistance to you. If God is leading you, are you just like he led me, if he's leading you that, oh, this man, this is how you are going to relate to him. Uh, you know, you know. I don't need to encourage. If he's a leading, it means me, myself, I don't need to encourage you to continue. I don't need to. I'm free of you because you were led. But if I have to be doing things to Ah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> if you are going to stay with me in my house and me and my wife will approve of it and you come, we take you as one of ours for as long as you will be with us. My first, my first talk with you is that you didn't come here to work. Maybe you came and we are hoping that you wash clothes. No, we have washing my washing. Or no, we 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 are okay. All right, you can be yourself. Just be yourself. In fact, don't work for some time, and get used to the environment. That nobody is looking for a fault in your life. If you are a liar, be lying. At least we will now know that okay, we have a job in that area. Just be free. If you are free to be yourself, this one has lying book. 
Don't hide. Don't no no hide. And you see, diverse people have stayed with us, but people have never fought in that house. That's never happened. A different spirit is responsible for the civilization there because there's nothing we are doing by manipulation. It's from the heart of Christ Himself, so that the children can as stalls, as calves in in God's store, and they understand what the real thing is supposed to be, so that when they are released into environments that are contrary, ah, they will know this is a strange place. And they will begin to look for how to change the place. Do you know church too? Church, control can be exerted on people so that they can behave a certain way. For me, don't give if you are not convinced. Let's leave that to people that are a bit more mature. Because the fact that you give doesn't mean I will visit you. Do you understand? Because if I need to visit you because you gave, you manipulated me. So I'm trying to do something to make sure. No, no, no. We are released from that. Because such are the ways of the fallen man. But if we are men of the spirit, God can lead us. God can send us. God can use us. And we are not doing anything that we are doing because we are expecting human beings to accept us. Human beings, no. The one we are serving, we must always keep him in view. He's the reason why we do what we do. He's him that is working in us and doing the things we do through us. And to him only be the glory. You know, somebody came and was singing my praise the other day. That, ah, oh, I helped him. I, helped. I told him, see, me, eh, I'm, a, I'm not a good man. But it is Christ in me that you saw. Don't confuse the two. You know, when we were small, my dad bought us a saving box, savings. So that's where my saving life started from. I became a miser. If you like, be sick. These savings, not for me. It is Jesus. Is Jesus in me? This philanthropist you are seeing now is not me. He is the one inside. I've yielded to him, so I'm lost in him. He's the one now on display. But don't miss it. The real man is what? He's a miser. What that man has yielded. So don't. Are you with me? Sometimes you people think we are always powerful. No. Is Jesus. And sometimes when we insist, come, 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 let's touch you. It's because Jesus is doing that thing now. If the service ends, Jesus can be doing something else. If you come for that thing, you will see how powerless the preacher is. Please help me tell your neighbor is Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. And the more grounds Jesus gains in my life, the more I become like him. The more marriage becomes sweet. The more ministry becomes I, I don't want to leave a manipulator. It's possible for you. You say, okay, ah, ministry is not growing. Ministry, then you now begin to do some things in the flesh. You are, oh, you have missed it. Paul planted. Apollos did what? Water. But Jehovah did what? He let him do his job. I cannot do my job and do his job at the same time. If I begin to do his job, obviously I'm not doing his job with his power. That is witchcraft. Do you understand that? So free yourself from wanting to control people. It's not... <laughs> Outside of the nature, outside of the spirit of God, any such control is witchcraft. Be on your husband, correct. Then you, your wife now tells the husband, No more sex for the next 12 days until this. That's control. You are, you are trying to, hallelujah. You are trying to control him. That is not your place. That is a place for the Holy Spirit. And that thing you are trying to do, if you succeed in doing it for 12 days, the power by which you did it is called. Witchcraft. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us in Jesus' mighty name. So that word rebel is the word that is um, the baseline word whenever we are dealing with witchcraft. And this is God's verdict for witchcraft. God's verdict for witchcraft. God's position about witchcraft is in the book of Lamentations chapter 3 verse 36. That's God's position. To subvert a man in his cause. Huh? The Lord approved it not. That is to manipulate a man. This lady is a good lady. She got married. You got offended. How many of you watched that picture on Facebook? That uh, video on Facebook. They, they were doing traditional marriage and people were dancing. Then one woman came and touched the womb. The womb of the lady. 
Did you see that? Do you know that that lady could not give birth? The Bible says to subvert a man in his cause. The Lord approved it not. So that's God's verdict on manipulation, on dominion, on control, on intimidation. That's his verdict. It means there is no approval for such manipulation from God. And if there's no approval from God, it means that the position that witchcraft has created can be reversed. Can be what? So we want to reverse some things now. But before we do that, let us restitute some positions that give advantage to the devil. If there is anyone that is here that committed abortion, I'm not calling you out, I'm not trying to disgrace you, but um, how, how can we do it so that why? There's no wisdom. How? The Lord will help us. But these are the three steps you need to take. You need to repent of that evil. You need to repent of that evil. You need to renounce the evil that you will not do it again. You must repent and forsake. Right? And then you also need to release yourself from the influence of the error. Repent, forsake, release yourself. I think those three steps are easy for you to do. So if we are praying other prayers, you can cash in on the moment and repent and what? Forsake. And then what? Release yourself. And if you find people that have um, erred in the same way, you can also recommend that three-step release formula to each and every one of them. If you have also consulted a diviner before, the three-step formula is the, the prescription for you. You repent, ask God for forgiveness, for consulting demons instead of consulting him. Make a proclamation to the Lord that you will not consult any such thing from henceforth. Hallelujah. And then release yourself from his influence. If you do that by an act of your will, it will be binding on your soul. Hallelujah. Uh, so that's what you do. So you find time to do it while we are praying and doing other things. And the good Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So, the position of heaven concerning witchcraft is that it is illegal for you to control, for you to, for you to dominate, for you to marginalize. The guy is going on his own course. He's trying to get pregnant. Then you put something there. And then you stop that normal course. You say, God does not what? Approve. He's going there, paid her bright price. Everybody was happy. And then somebody now comes and says, why is it that this first wife is only her daughters that are getting married? My own are here there, and my own are better. They are finer, but they are not. Hallelujah. So we are going to cause something so that the marriage will not last. The Bible says to subvert a man in his cause. The Lord approved it not. So this morning, are there things that the Lord has not approved? that are in your life. Those things that the Lord has not approved in your family. We can proclaim them illegal and ask for those things to be destroyed. And heaven will back us. Because the policy to hinder in the first place did not come from God. Exactly. So we'll do that. And I will show you the one for divination. I'll show you the one for sorcery. I'll show you the one for... If you are here and you went to look for money from the devil. Hallelujah. You are not answering me. I want to avoid some things so that I will not say something. Eh? But if you are willing to sleep with a man in order for you to get money, you are going to look for money from the devil. You have already... This is your body that is a temple of the Holy Spirit. There was a time it was for sale. That's an abomination. It's not something that you can just come and say, Oh, we repent. Oh, Jesus. Yes, you, your soul has been secured. But the curse is still on you. And the three... You know that three-step process is also applicable in such matters. Are you with me? All right. All right. So as we are praying, deal with your own issues, and then you join us. I want everybody to live here with no open door of Satan on their lives. This morning, hallelujah. Are we there now? So we are going to pray using, that's the, the verdict of the court of heaven on witchcraft. That's the verdict. We are going to implement the verdict. We are going to establish the verdict. As the prayers are going on, Pastor Abike, you will lead us. As it's going on, then I will be checking the spirit realm to know the specific cases that we need to deal with. 
by the Lord's instruction. I have several things in my family that are not in order. God has helped me as an individual. He has helped my home. But you see, there are homes, many, many homes that the devil has infiltrated among my relatives. In fact, there is serious division at some levels. Some people can't talk to themselves. It's terrible. And that's not God's will. So there are many things I need to contend for. Because the scope in which salvation should be established is not just for me. It also should affect my household. My faith must influence my household. Because the Bible says, as for me and what? My house. We will what? Serve the Lord. So the influence of my faith should impact upon my relatives, my brothers, my sisters, my uncles. It's a ground of priesthood that God has given unto me. And if I utilize that ground, their destinies can come back into the path of prophecy as ordained by God. So Pastor Abike will be leading us in that prayer to insist because this is not God's approved pattern. Anything that has been built by witchcraft, which has been accepted in the family, we want to pull it down and we want to ask for God's intervention. Then as we move, we will get, uh, as we will get more insight. Hallelujah. Yes, Abike, please help us. Can we rise on our feet? Father, we thank you. We worship your name. We give you praise. We lift your name on high. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the revelations that have come our way. We ask, Lord Father, O oh God, for your mercies. We ask for your mercies, Lord, that you may wash us, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, Lord Jesus, from all our faults. Lord, we repent. We repent, O oh Lord Father, of every wickedness, Lord God abominations lord our god we repent oh lord we ask for your mercy we cry lord father for mercy for the sins of witchcraft lord god we ask for your mercy in every way lord father oh god we have manipulated we have control and intimidated lord god we ask that you show us mercy this day that you may show mercy unto us unto our children and unto our generations lord god we know we are sinners we are born Born in these iniquities, our ancestors, oh God, have manipulated destinies, have destroyed destiny through witchcraft, necromancy, Lord, and every act of astrology. Lord, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy that you will look upon us, oh God, with mercy. Show us mercy. Forgive us, oh God, our sins. Forgive us, oh, oh God, our sins. We repent. We repent of the wickedness of abortions that have been carried out in our lives, in our families oh Lord, by our sisters by our mothers, by our ancestors, by our wives Lord, we ask for your mercy Lord, we ask for your mercy blood that have been shed Lord God, in our families Lord, we ask that you show us mercy, we cry for mercy, we cry for mercy, we cry for mercy we cry for mercy, we repent oh Lord, our God Repanese kupalata, yepa pata nete peteke, zata papa la te pete te te te, rapa to pete le te kata pelata, yeto pe shenta pata pa, yepa tapa la te pete te te te, zata papa tapa pala tapa pa, rete papo kapa pala nteri atapa, rete panta luko pate kula, reke tapa pala kata papa la kata papa, rezeto. We repent, O oh Lord. We repent. We repent. We repent, O oh Lord, our God. Like a kayapalate seketepa, a kaloko ne kazeta ne. We repent on behalf of ourselves, on behalf of our families, on behalf of our lineages, 
Oh Lord our God, that you may look upon us with the eyes of mercy, that the blood of thy holy Son, Jesus, may cleanse us from all the abominations. Oh Lord, that we have all done against your holy name. La de Sheka Mante Krupa, Irakete Yashakai, Ayakai Akatakon, Iakamonde Kemenekete, Lekatepele Katapa. Lord our God, we plead the blood. 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 That through the message of the blood, you may blot out, O oh God, that which is standing against us in the courts of heaven. That we, the enemy is using, O oh God, to relegate and malign our destinies. Alei masheka patria, akapone kopene keteke, areko pene ketepe te kota, ireka tapapala kataperata. The iniquities that have been transferred unto us through the bloodline, Lord God, we ask for your mercy that you yourself partake of the same blood that Lord God, Father, you may destroy him that have power over sin and death. Lord, we ask for your mercy that through the blood of thy Holy Son, that accusation that are raised against us in the courts of heaven, that by the blood such as the gave accusations may cease, O oh God, this day. Hayale Seta Mata for the blood of sprinkling it speaketh better things than the blood of Hebe. Rate Kamalakete Peta. Ayak de Kopela Tepes. Ako Mena Kopena Tekete. For our sisters, Lord God, that have engaged in our person. We plead the blood of Jesus for messes. For our brothers that gave out money. For our fathers that gave out money. For us that stood, Lord Father, and consented. Lord, we ask for your mercy. For slaves that have been sold in our families. Lord, for every intimidation, wickedness, so oh Lord, that they have took part of. We ask for your mercy, Lord. Yet for the sin of witchcraft that have been carefully weaved into our cultures. We ask, oh God, have mercy upon us. 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 We serve the devil through cultures. Lord, we ask for your mercy. We repent, Lord. We repent, Lord. We repent, Lord. We renounce. We renounce witchcraft. We renounce witchcraft. We renounce our wickedness. We are sorry for them. We renounce necromancy. We renounce, O oh Lord our God. Rakete bata shakata. We renounce them. We renounce them. We renounce them. We renounce them. We renounce the intimidation, the control. Lord, we renounce them. Rakata papa lakata. The domination, we renounce them. Akela tate shakata. No more. Lord, we renounce them. We say no more. We say no more. La ye kayata kabata. Zakete kata 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 para keto kata kata Lord today we call the heavens and the earth as a witness of our renouncement oh Lord our God of the wickedness of witchcraft of the intimidation Lord Father of witchcraft of the control of the intimidation of the domination Lord and all his wickedness that have maligned our destiny that have put our land into darkness that have Lord Father entrenched poverty in our lineages in our land that have brought causes upon us and our children we renounce them we renounce them we renounce them we renounce them we renounce leka tata tayeta leka papa ria kandeka saka tata 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 leko akako akateko eleko akako akateko elaka totopenata we release our 
ourselves, oh God. We release by the blood of Jesus everyone represented here, myself, my family, my children. We release them. We release, we release ourselves by the blood of the Lamb. For it is written, blotting out the handwriting that were contrary to us. He took them out of our way. He nailed them to the cross of Jesus, triumphing over them. We release our souls. Oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus. We release ourselves from the bands. Oh, God, for our marriages, 
for children to be subverted. Shut 
witchcraft be broken. Let the bonds of witchcraft be broken. Let the bonds of witchcraft be broken. Let the bonds of witchcraft be broken. Let go back at that. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Tonight, we are going to do a spiritual ceremony tonight. It's a, a night of release, just like it was for Israel when she came out of captivity. We are going to proclaim a night of release. A night of release where the powers of Egypt will fail, where that dominion, that control will be broken, and then the people of God will walk on dry ground. That's what we're doing tonight. But before we break camp for this afternoon, I saw I saw a black hand on someone's head, black. Someone touched you. Oh Jesus. Someone touched you. Father, in the name of Jesus. There is no way we can know this brother, this sister that is in the congregation that was touched. And so we call for your help. We ask for your help. So that this one can be free. Because you have not approved. You have not approved of the limitations. That such one is experiencing. You have not approved of it. And so I ask oh God in the name of Jesus. From my left hand side. To my right hand side. That your spirit will spread his hands across the auditorium let every place be electrified as you place your hand upon that individual that has been contaminated by that touch that satanic touch father help me find the person help me find the person help me find help me find gakole masika branda kora kapala aika manze kotale Baruse kamanza iko bai la kopre iko na 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 okay his presence is coming stronger help me find help me find that one so that we can help that one help me find that one help me find that one help me find holy ghost holy ghost holy spirit spread your hands help me find help me find help me find lord help me find help me find now bring that one Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ali Kosamina Brantes Koskobre Kavale Tori. Ah! 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 There's somebody here, your finances were cursed. You are on this rollo. Your finances were cursed. You see, when an evil hand touches you, when a bad hand touches you, Father, we erase that touch. Oh, Jesus. Kaburi, Mose, Kaiko. E brenda, kande, korea, mazika, branta, babali, mahane. We erase the evil touch. We remove the limit. Every form of stagnation you have had to experience because of this evil touch. I remove it in the name of Jesus. Father, we remove the evil touch. We also remove the stagnation, the limitation, the cyclical limitation that came on you on the strength of this touch. Ah. 
Uh, let the grace of God come upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your finances were cursed. I see you, you were doing very well in business. Your business was okay. And then there was this curse, this curse that came. And then you, you dropped and you have not been able to recover because of the curse. If you are here, you can come out. I want to bless you now. Hallelujah. You know, you were cursed before. Now, me, I want to bless. Tonight, we are doing a night of release. 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 Night of release. And you are going to go back into your full stature. Your full measure will be restored unto you. In the name of Jesus. Your full measure will be restored. Great grace will be given unto you. In the name of Jesus. If you are out here, you can begin to pray and ask God to show you mercy. To reach out to you. To break the curse. To release you. To release you. To release you. I come, my son. The spell of death is hanging on one of you. I see death. That filthy flag is flying. Now, can you just put your right hand on your chest? I'll pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Can you, Lord, please stretch your hand and show me who is carrying this flag of death. Let the anointing come strong on the person. Let the anointing come stronger, stronger, stronger. Let the grace come strong. Let the anointing be strong upon that life. Show me, Holy Ghost. Show me. Show me. Show me. Ah, it's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Even ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Kura batwa. Show me, Lord. Let your hand descend. Let your hand descend strong. Let your hand descend stronger, stronger, stronger. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where did you go, my brother? Where did you go? Where did you go? You went to a wrong place. You see, they gave you debt. They gave you debt. Can you kneel before the Lord? Kneel before Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Let there be recovery in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If I touch you, you can. Oh, Jesus. Can you pray for this young man? The Lord might show mercy. May the Lord's hand of mercy come upon him. Raso samina kaila kompre Iko santo lepre zahalato mina sahika Iko samanta leko sepre Ika maito kubrohondo Anto mina branta baboli balatua Se braskito kompre Manta lakuta mina kasahika Jesus Ah ah hey Mercy Mercy Lord Mercy, mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. We rescue him from the open doors that his personal disobedience has opened. And by your mercy, we bring covering over him. Let him be spared. Let him be preserved. And let him prosper in Jesus' name.